let us see the components of vectors so uh, the components of vectors can be found by applying the trigonometry functions of cosines and sine law and sine law so consider a vector a that is a vector a from one point to another point in a space or in a two dimensional case or in a two dimensional uh, coordinate system coordinate system let's say this is a vector a now uh, let let us consider that this is a two coordinate system a two coordinate system in the x axis and in the y axis in the x axis and in the y axis let's say this is the y axis and this is the x axis with its origin o o now consider that this vector a is moving or it is to the directions of uh, the positive x axis with an angle of theta with an angle of theta now this is ax that is uh, the components of vector a to the x direction and and this is uh, ay ay that is a vector of a to the directions of the y axis that is ay ay now uh, for the x component for the x component of a the vector a uh, cos of theta using a cosine function that is cos of theta cos of theta is equals to cos of theta is equals to ax over a that gives us ax is equals to ax is equals to a times cos of theta and for the y component and for the y component y component of a vector a let's draw an equal magnitude and parallel with vector ay that is this is vector ay this is vector ay so we can say that we can say that sine of sine of theta is equals to ay over a therefore we can say that ay is equals to a times sine of theta these are the components these are the components of a on the x axis and the y axis in, in two dimensional coordinate system similarly the components of vectors in three dimension for three dimension for three dimension let's say that this is vector a is vector a the components of vector a to the x direction is this one this is ax in the x direction and the components of vector a to the z direction is az in the z direction and the components of vector a to the y direction is y ay so the angle let's say that the angle between ay and a is theta y and the angle between the vector a and the components of vector a to the x axis is ax theta x theta x and the components of az the the angle between the components of az with the vector a is theta z theta z so the components can be written as the components can be written as cos of cos of theta x is equals to ax over a this implies that ax is equals to ax is equals to uh, ax is equals to a times cos of theta x and the direction is theta x is equals to cos inverse of cos inverse of ax over uh, a over a and 
this is the x component x component x component and for the y component y component cos of theta y is equals to a y over a this implies that a y is equals to a times cos of theta y and the direction is the direction is theta y is equals to cos inverse of cos inverse of a y over a similarly similarly uh, for the z component uh, we can say that a z is equals to a times cos of theta z this implies that the direction is theta z is equals to uh, cos inverse of a z over a now uh, the additions of the components ax ax ay and az components is given by a the vector a is equals to ax plus ay plus az <coughs> az and since since ax ay and the az are perpendicular to each other so the magnitude of the resultant vector a is given by is given by uh, under radical of a x square plus a y square plus a z square let us see the unit vector unit vector is is a vector with one magnitude and dimensionless and dimensionless so if a vector is a magnitude of one and dimensionless therefore this vector is a unit vector a unit vector it is easier to is used to point A given vector in a specific direction is represented by by a hat a hat consider that there is a vector a a vector a a so if i need to represent uh, with uh, this vector a with a unit vector therefore i can write this vector as a times u hat where this is the magnitude and this is the unit vector of vector a vector a so this hat is the representations of the representations of a unit vector if i need to represent this vector vector a using a cartesian coordinate system the three dimensional coordinate system i can use this unit vector with uh, i can represent or i can replace this unit vector by the cartesian the cartesian coordinate unit vectors that is i pointers pointing to pointing in the x direction positive x direction and j pointing in the positive y direction and k pointing in the plus z direction 
So these are these are the unit vectors in a Cartesian coordinate system that we can replace this u with this unit vector. So consider a vector a, which is this is a vector a drawn from one point to another point. This is a, and consider we have uh, we have a Cartesian coordinate system in the x-axis and in the y-axis and also in the z-axis in the z-axis in the x-axis and in the y-axis so as we have as we discussed earlier we have a component of vector a in the x-axis that is ax in the x-axis this vector and we have a vector uh, ay in the y direction represented by this this is ay and we have also a vector az in the z direction which is az in the z direction so so the vector this vector a can be represented by so this vector a can be represented by a vector is equals to ax in the i hat plus ay in the j hat plus az in the z in the k hat in the k hat this is the representations of a in the coordinate systems now let's see the vector addition in unit vector notation consider vector a is equals to vector a is equals to ax in the i hat plus ay in the j hat plus az in the z hat in the z hat and consider a vector b a vector b is equals to b in the x i hat plus b in the y j hat plus b in the z k hat sorry this is k hat k hat j and k hat now the addition of this vectors is the addition of this vectors is so a vector plus b vector is equals to ax in the i hat plus ay in the j hat plus az in the k hat plus bx in the i hat plus by in the j hat plus bz in the k hat so i am going to add each component each similar component with the similar unit vector so this is equals to this is equals to ax plus since ax and bx are in the same unit vector in the same unit vector and ay and by are in the same unit vector and also az and bz are in the same unit vector so i have to collect this uh, similar similar components in one unit vector so ax plus bx in the in the x component or in the in the i component in the i component or in the i unit vector plus ay plus by in the j direction plus az plus bz in the k direction so this is the addition of two vectors using unit vector notation now now consider consider r vector is equals to r or r vector is equals to x in the i direction plus y in the j direction plus z in the k direction in the k direction so the unit vector of r is can be found the unit vector of r can be found that is 
r unit vector is equals to the vector r over the magnitude of r this is how we can find the vector uh, unit vector or a unit vector of any vector therefore this is equals to x over r magnitude in the i direction in the i direction plus y over r in the j direction plus z over r magnitude in the k direction this is uh, the unit vector of any given vector and the the magnitude of r this r is r magnitude is equals to under radical of x square plus y square plus z square this is